Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. Let's continue, shall we? So we've got a choice of which level to go. We've got 1-5 and 1-4. Let's go for 1-4, because this has our friend Ness on it. Ness is cool. Oh, Plessy, I think she's called. Plessy's Plunging Falls. All right, let's go, Plessy. Hop on Plessy and head for the goal. Control your speed by tilting up and down on the left analog stick. Jump by pressing B. When playing with friends, you'll find that you can turn faster and jump higher when everybody's working together. Are you ready? Then let's get going. Come on, Plessy. Let's go. Yeah, these sections are really fun. They can be frustrating because they can be slightly fiddly to control. They're not too bad. Definitely uh, can be a little bit awkward to get all the stars and things. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, we missed that one. I should probably try and keep language in check because it's Mario, but, you know, then it wouldn't be me, would it? Alright, uh, should we try and bounce up here? Boingy, boingy, boingy. An extra life. Oh, no, missed the extra life. Now, this one actually... Ah, yes, I remember now. You don't want to get hit with them... Bouncer fish things because they can make you have a bad time. Now, I will say, Plessy is way easier to control than those bloody. Um, oh, what were they? They were the bloopers in Sunshine. Oh my god, those bloopers. They sucked. Come on, sweet, got ya. Alright, well, we missed the middle one, but I'm. I have a rough idea where the middle one was. We got the star. Uh, we got the sticker. I love the way she like waves at you as you walk off. It's really, really like I don't know. It's just it's Nintendo. It's cute. It's lovable. It is, you know. Um. Anyway, let's go. So I think we're gonna try out a bit of Luigi. A bit of Luigi. My missus always calls him Luigi. We always cross, uh, we always say like mosquitoes, malarios. Uh, right. Oh, I love that meme actually, the malario. It's a mosquito that looks like Mario. Um, I guess. I guess we'll have to rerun that one. We'll do that in a minute. Let's see if we can finish this other level first. Ah, oh, these toad treasure tracker. Missions are really cool as well. Actually, that's a game that I wouldn't mind to play. Toad's Treasure Tracker. I think it's called. Uh, I actually have that on the Switch as well, but I've never really completed it. Now, these Switch plates are kind of annoying. They're not annoying, but you've got to light all these bad boys up. Kill these ladybugs. There we go. They're so clever with like how they make this game look so pretty. I mean, it's really basic when you look at it. There's a lot of... Yeah, there's not a lot going on always, but... They kind of really maximise what little hardware they do have to work with. And they do it so well. And that's Nintendo. They're good at squeezing every drop of power out of hardware. Some other companies certainly could take some notes. Like 60 FPS, like that should be the norm. Every game should be 60 FPS. We've got plenty of power in these new machines now to get that done. Right. Don't need to worry about 4K and things like that. Just let's get nice 60 FPS. I'd rather play a game at 2K. Uh, and have a nice, buttery smooth frame rate. Ah. Okay. Didn't have to worry about, um, you know, dropping frames. Now. Oh, we've got cat power. Cat power might be beneficial here. Mm-hmm. So we've got a warp block. Let's have a little poke around in the warp block. 
see where this leads. Oh, right. I'm guessing we've got to destroy... Oh, right, okay. As <laughs> simple as that. Just find the star. Sweet. So, that's two of the stars. Oh, right. You've got the other one. Bastard. Right, let's grab that. There we go. Worth it. Totally worth it. Now, I'm probably going to want to kill that one. I always forget what these witches are called. I forget what a lot of the characters are called, to be honest. Now, we haven't found the... Ooh, okay. Got ya. We haven't found the sticker yet. Ah, there's the sticker. We need cat power for that. Cool. Like so. Maybe we don't need cat power. Possibly as a way of doing it without. Very rarely will this game only give you one choice or one option. Right, okay, so you can... Uh huh. Gotcha. Let's take it home. All right, I kind of like Luigi. He definitely jumps a bit higher, quite a bit higher actually. Speed feels about the same. Now I have unlocked a couple of other characters in my uh, playthrough, my personal playthrough. Uh, but I don't know how what their unique abilities are. I haven't really managed to notice anything unique. Now, these Toad Treasure Tracker missions, you'll see that there's five stars to find. These are really fun. Captain Toad goes forth. Now, Captain Toad here can't actually fight or attack. So, it's all about avoidance. Captain Toad, fearless hunter of green stars, is ready for adventure. Guide him safely through the course in his search for five stars. Make sure to get all five in order to take them home. Yep. So, Toad can't jump and he can't fight. Very important stuff. These start off quite easy. Well, to be fair, most of these have been easy. There's only one that I've had a bit of trouble with. And it wasn't too bad. It just takes a few little... Um, few little goes. But again, doesn't this look fantastic? There's that thing that Nintendo does that a lot of other companies don't. They, they put it in their games. Uh, what's it called? Ah, yes! Colour! Isn't it nice to see these beautiful, vibrant greens and stuff? Um, not every game has to be shit brown. Uh, saying that though, that is a bit of a trend that seems to be going, which is nice. It was more of a 360 and PlayStation 3 thing. Never really understood that color palette choice. The Gears of War was pretty bad for it. Another star down. Another five stars down. Many more to go. Hundreds more to go. I haven't played Mario Odyssey, actually. Uh, I must, I don't even own it. Must get that. Okay, give it a try. Yeah, so we can move and manipulate the camera here as well. There are hidden levels and things to find sometimes, which is cool. Now, we've got the castle to take on, but before we do the castle... Let's go... Ah, yeah, this is also a hidden toad house in there. But we don't need power-ups at the moment, so we won't bother. Come on, Plessy. Let's try and find that last star. That middle star. Let's go. Right, so if I was... A star... Where the hell would I be? So there's the first star. Which is the... Ah, right. I'm pretty sure it's to do with this. If memory serves. Yeah. Maybe. Because this... <laughs> no. Maybe not. 
Okay. Ah, maybe it's through here then. Okay, no star so far. No. Nothing. Right. Right, that's an invincible star man there. Ooh. That's the doorbell. Okay, and like a absolute moron, I forgot to um <laughs> forgot to pause it. Anyway, uh, so yes, my forty eighty is here. Oh, I'm a happy boy indeed. Right, let's go. Let's go. God, it's going to be so weird getting that 1060 out. RTX on. Ah, oh, sick. Right, might actually have to stop recording games in 1080p. Yes. But then I've only got 1080p monitor for now. Right, there's nothing through here. So where, pray tell, is the next? Right, that's just a life up there. Ha. Huh. Ooh, unless it's this way. Nope. Oh, that's the door about to go again. And we're back. Awesome. Both graphics cards have now arrived. Mine and uh, Gabby's. So, all good. Right, let's go and get that last star. So, I did remember where it was. Uh, and I picked it up and then the time ran out. Because <laughs> obviously I forgot to unpause the game again. Because I'm stupid. Anyway, in my excitement. Oh, I haven't had a new graphics card for nearly six and a half years now. So, wicked. Anyway. Let's go on the bongi bongies. Like so. And onwards. Now, the second star is a bit of a git. I kind of it's kind of obvious when you think about it. It's hidden in this little waterfall. Yes. Sneaky sneak. And that's how you get through here to the star man. Alright. I don't think we can kill the bongi bongies. Oh actually. Oh we can kill the bongi bongies. That'd be a really good little area to get uh, a load of lives, actually. Right, let's go. Oh, oh, did get them all. Just. All right. Yeah, about time we heard some news on a new Switch, actually, because the Switch she's getting a bit long in the tooth now. Six years old. And by Nintendo standards, um, going. Oh, hello. On their track record for hardware, that's very old. They generally replace their systems after five years. So, come on, Nintendo. Not that I want you to bring out a new system, like, you know, tomorrow, because uh, <laughs> I kind of don't really have the money right now for one, but we need something. Give us a, give us a hint. I mean, we've got an eight-year-old chip in this thing that's heavily underclocked. Right, anyway, uh, so that's that. That's that. That's that. Okay, so now it's uh, time to go into the castle. Yeah, you're actually locked with how many stars. So you do need to at least get a minimum amount of stars before you can uh, go into the castle. So, let's go. Bowser's Highway Showdown. We'll take Luigi for this. I think Luigi's got what it takes. At least, I'm pretty sure Luigi has what it takes. Now, these little footballs are fun. They are fun indeed. So, we've got... Oh, right. These will spawn green coins. Get all the green coins, spawns a star. That will be a mechanic that is definitely utilised quite a lot through this playthrough. Oof. And we get some cat power, which is nice. Ooh. Nice little 10 second extra. We'll take it. Bullet bills. 
I don't want to worry too much about the old bullet bills. Ooh. All right. So the rub with this, we need to get a football. There we go. That should. Yeah, that's the star. I remembered that. Nice. So let's twizzle the old uh, cat nozzle here and get our asses up. What will that give us? Ah, coins. Coins mean lives. And that's... Okay, so we're up to date. Oh, get on the back of the thwomps. There's a lot of time there. They're probably going to waste all this time getting to the time. You see? That makes sense. And you know it does. What else we've got here? Oh, another cat bell. We'll take it. So we just need to find one more star. All right. Shouldn't be too diff. Oh, there it is. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's right in front of me. Well, how about that? All right. Now, oof, God. Let's just blast a hole in this wall. Don't want a mushroom. We are beyond mushrooms. We have some nice cat power. So here we are. First castle, first boss. And this looks, <laughs> this looks freaking awesome, by the way. Hey, Bowser the Bellend. Right, now this one can be a little bit of a challenge, actually. Getting the angles right, as you can see. Or maybe it's just because I'm useless. Yeah, keep it coming, boyo. Now you need to be careful, because... That should have hit. Yeah, don't attack the ones with spikes. Can't attack the ones with spikes. Yeah, how's that feel, Bowser? Looks like your ride's getting a little bit banged up there. You're going to have to move a little bit Ooh, quicker than that, my dude. Oh, I think that hit him, actually. Look at his golden rims. Shit. There we go. His golden rims are just, like, dragging. You're all washed up, Bowser. You are done, son. For now. It's always for now. Okay. Grab this and get out of here. Let's go. Nice. 100 extra seconds and our first fairy. Well, yoink. 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 Yoink, yoink, and yoink. So, first fairy. I think there's eight fairies to find. I think. Might be six. I can't remember now. Oh, I just noticed Luigi's got spots on his cat onesie outfit thing. Kind of cool, actually. Oh. Not bad. And we're still good for lives. Uh, good for power-ups, I should say. Now, our good old friendly uh, fairy there will construct us a nice pipe to get to the next area. Let's go. Now, my favourite stages in a Mario game are the war... Not the, necessarily the water stages, but the stages that are based around beaches. I don't know why this is. I don't know whether it's because uh, I grew up on a beach. Not on the beach, obviously. That would be awkward, but I grew up in a beach town. And um, so I was at the beach all the time, but I love the cool blue waters, the sand. Ah, Mario does it so well. Anywho, world 2-1, let's go. Let's go. 
Right, so we've got these chaps. <sighs> these chaps are kind of annoying. They're actually like really hard to hit uh, if you don't have a power. But that's okay. First green start. I'll have him. Yoink. Not bad. Hey, you're the same color as the stars, Luigi. I just realized that. Right, so this kind of looks a little bit sus down there, but I don't think there's nothing there. Alright, we'll use that. Yeah, these condor. I think these are called condors, these guys. But they have like a really um, savage reach. Right, so if we look up there, there is actually a, a golden pipe. Also, that quicksand will uh, suck us in if we're not careful. Right, get you out of here. Come on. Right, let's see if that gives us... Yes! Oh, not quite. Ah, oh, savage. Okay, that's fine. We should be able to get up here, though. There we go. That's what we're talking about. So this is a golden coin rush area. So... Not, like, super good or anything, but, you know... Get some coins. The coins are always good. That'll do. So obviously if you fall down the pit, the pit is sight and death. And we don't really want sight and death. Oh, these cactuses have coins in them. Ooh, hello. Now if we activate that. Oof. Come on, baby. Come on. A little bit tight on the time there. It just gives us a cat bell, which isn't exactly great, but whatever. We'll take it. Condors. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. Right, you can't jump on their backs. I think we jumped on his back there because we, were, we had invincibility frames. But usually, you can't. Let's kill these condors. Alright, don't actually get anything from doing that, but whatever, whatever. Pondor, you're dead. Okay. Anything up here? Oh, there is, there's a fairy. Well, thanks, fairy. Right, so we can see the stamp over there. That's good. Good enough. So we still need to find two more golden stars or green stars hey cat bell I'll take it nothing up here we are running out of time time will become a bit of a factor in this game the levels do start off with lots of time but it does oh god I don't know why oh right there's wind I see wind is pushing us around Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Oof. Ah, the star is in one of these blocks. I remember this much. Oi! Idiot. Over here. There we go. That's coins. At least I'm sure it's in one of these blocks. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it is. Cool. Thoughts as much. Nothing gets past me. Apart from all the stuff that does. Uh, right, let's grab you. That's the end over there. Ah! I think we saved Toad. Saving Toad will give us the last star. Come on, Toad. Time's money and all that. Cool. And that will work nicely. Let's go. Let's charge. Run. Run for your life. Alright. Not bad. Bit sketchy, but we made it. Okay, so that's the second mission clear, or the, no, that's the first mission. Happy with that. That went a little bit smoother than I thought it would, to be honest. Much smoother. So where are we moving on to next in this uh, desert adventure? Okay, we've got a statue of Bowser. That's ominous. You can use amiibo. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't have any amiibo. 
Well, actually, it's not true. I've got like 30 amiibo, but they're the amiibo cards that they, um, ah. Let's open this up. Yeah, I've got the amiibo cards that I use with Zelda. Oh, this is World 2. Um, but I bought those off of Amazon. It was like, it's like £20 for like 30 or 40 amiibo cards. So, that was... You can play this course using touch controls. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember these. Right. I'll try to remember how these work now. Right, yeah, so... We've got to kind of push these. And activate them. It's really freaking awkward. Unfortunately. But we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Anyway, let's go. Let's keep this party wagon going. Now, our first... Oh, hello. First green star here. I think is under one of these platforms. Oh, little Goomba. Think we can go down here? Oh, look, something is invisible over here. You. Well, you're dead now. Right, let's go up. Or ah, I see a little Mario jump out. That was cool. Maybe it's under here. Flower power, sure, we'll have flower power. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I remember it being somewhere around here. Right. Have you? Nice. And let's get out of here. Take out these bloody flowers before we get our ass chewed up. Right, this is quite awkward. On the um, on TV mode, because you're limited. I think after a while, these yeah, they do slide back in. After a while, they start to flash, which is a little bit awkward, actually. Right, let's grab you. Oh shit! Actually, you know what? Will probably be good here. Cat power. Probably make this a bit easier. Right, let's run up here. Now, you may have just seen... There we go. There's our start. Alright, let's get rid of you. That will do, donkey. That will do. Halfway mark. We've only found one star. Okay. So, it looks like we're going to go up a lift. I think the next... Uh, yeah. It's kind of coming back to me a little bit. Maybe. Right, the next star's around here, I believe. No! Ah, oh, impatience. We were impatient and we paid the price. The ultimate price. Luigi is dead. At least, he is in one reality anyway. Okay, let's try. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, Luigi is floaty. Actually, he's really floaty. Yeah, he kind of slips around like he's on ice. Where do you come from? Okay, so we have... A cloud. Let's... Oh, God, let's go in the cloud. Pretty sure. These guys usually lead to something. They usually lead to a... Star, or at the very least... It's a um, stamp. But we've already got the stamp, so it can't be that. There we go. Ooh, got it. Almost missed it then. Right. Come on. Careful. Gotta be careful. Nice. Ah, oh, this is where things get a little bit spicy. Oh, look, there's a star. Right, okay. So, what we'll do... Alright, not bad, not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it for now. Got ya. 
That'll do. That'll work. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you win, as long as you win. Well, that's not true. Don't listen to my advice. Alright, now this is where things get sketchy. No, oh, jeez. Right, that'll do. Whew. That mission was almost stressful. Almost. Right, anyway, I think I'm probably going to leave it there, guys. Because by the time I've edited this video down, it should be around 30 minutes, I think. And when we come back, we're going to continue this rampage through the desert. Collecting more green stars and stamps and taking souls. But, till then guys, thanks for watching.